Egan Thompson out there for his second career start. You go back and look at that first one. It started out a little bit rough. Settled down, started taking some deep breaths. The next thing you know, he got into the fourth inning without letting the Dodgers, of course, the reigning World Series champion, score. He goes the other way and up the line, and that's going to be down. Hayward plays the high bounce well, and Witt will hold with a single. He's able to reach it. Great head position. Let the ball travel. All those good things. Mainly, it fell fair. Nicky was hitless yesterday. Slider, and that's going to be up the line, and you can hear the Royals fans roaring as Witt will go first to third. And Nicky Lopez has a double. Hold it sharply. No chance for Frank the Tank to even get a glove on it. Carlos was 0 for 3 with a walk yesterday. And that cutter's way inside. It hits the bricks. And Witt will score. Lopez goes to third. And with nobody out yet, the Royals lead 1 0. 3 and 2, second and third. 1 0 Royals. Left field going back is Hermosillo and hauls it in on the track. A long inning for Keegan Thompson. Wow, how about that? You know, Buich, this is a good opportunity for him. Now he's got to run before he even toes the slab here. And a fastball puts him away, so a good start for Bubich. And one down in the first. Witt singled up the right field line in the first inning and then scored on a wild pitch. Ground ball right side, and that's going to be a diving play by Bodie, and not in time. And now Nicky Lopez, and he lines it over the shortstop, Duffy, and into left center field. So the Royals get a hit with a runner in scoring position. Nicky is two for two. Rivera scores, and the Royals lead 2 0 in the second. Boy, what a pretty swing this is. That's what he wanted to do center cut, short swing, under control. Put the ball and play in the big part of the field. Good things happen. Line to left field, but slicing and Benintendi made a great play, and it helped that the ball was slicing in his direction. And there are two down. I mean, he started out at 100% speed and caught it right at the end of his fingertips there, and is able to hold on. And that's not where Camp Gallagher wanted that either. He wanted that pitch up, but it was down and. Hayward thought he had extra bases there. Andrew Benintendi was a big out for Thompson in the first inning. I bet he sits on this pitch right here. Good call. Yeah. Go and that's going to roll deep. So he took a nice, easy swing on a fastball up. And Benintendi's at second base with nobody out. Ground ball to first. Backhanded by Schwindel with a dive. Feeds Thompson on the bag. Good play. Advancing to third, Ben Intendi. Nice play by Schwindel. Dove to his right to make the play. Change up. Strikes him out. So Bubich doesn't let Schwindel get away this time. Beautiful location. Gets the hitter out front, and you make him look like that. Now the 0 2 to Wisdom. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts in the inning. Change up. Oh. And he got him. So wow. he did pull it together cool. and he strikes out the side and Bubich has seven strikeouts in four hitless innings. Oh, he is on top of his game. Benintendi struck out in the first inning and then he doubled leading off the third. Pulled and into right field for a base hit. So Benintendi has gone the other way and he has pulled the ball for his two hits. Michael A. Taylor the Royal center field. Hold to left field, and that's going to be down and into the Ivy. Benintendi to third. He stumbled coming around third, and the relay to the plate is going to be in time. Well, Andrew Benintendi is clearly out at home plate. However, the Royals are challenging and challenging whether Chirinos blocked the plate and the Royals are going to win the challenge. We haven't seen this one in a while, but because of the new rule, the catcher cannot block the plate. Chirinos did not provide a sliding lane for Andrew Benintendi. And if you go back and you look at where Chirinos was 
before the throw was made. Now a catcher, as long as he provides a lane, if the throw causes him to go in a position where he blocks the runner, that's okay, but he was in front of the plate the whole time. Yeah, that's a good call. So Mike Matheny and Cal Eldred, depending on the circumstance, might stretch him out a little bit today. It's one in the third inning. Breaking ball is pulled out to Whit Merrifield, and that is six hitless innings for Chris Bubich. And Witt hits it well into right center field, and that'll drop in front of Hayward. Both of Witt's hits to the outfield have been to right. Yeah, nice little soft step. Kept his head right there. An easy swing. And a ground ball is into center field. That's base hit number three for Nicky Lopez. Witt goes to third. So Nicky is three out of four. And here come the Royals with runners at the corners and nobody out. Lopez runs again. That's a foul tip and a throw over second base. And on the throw, Merrifield comes down from third. So Chirinos went for Nicky Lopez, and the Royals execute a double steal. The tarp was put on the field. There was no rain. Bubich stayed loose in the bullpen, and it'll be about a 30 minute no rain rain delay and here comes Patrick wisdom 0 for 2 with a fly out and a strikeout drilled left field that one towards the corner number 20 Patrick wisdom breaks up the shutout the no hitter and the Cubs on the board it is 4 2 yeah that was the change up and wisdom stayed back and he hammered it Nicky Lopez is doing his best to remind him of what he's accomplished today. Whit Merrifield the same, Emmanuel Rivera, Cam Gallagher, and now Mike Matheny. On the ground right side, Santana will take it himself, and the Royals have another good day at Wrigley Field. They win today 4-2. With terrific pitching again, led by Chris Bubich.